Hey, what's up everybody? Bill DeFreitas for the GCVC and we are back with another Athlete Spotlight. But first, please take a second to like the video and subscribe to the channel just to help support Canadian grappling. Thank you very much, it means a lot. For this edition of the Athlete Spotlight, we visited Team Extreme in Toronto, Ontario to meet up with high school wrestler Carlos Vargas. Carlos is a Mexican born wrestler. He's been in Canada for about five years now. He's already won juvenile and junior provincials and he's also an officer champ at 72 kilograms. He has one year of high school left, but with national team and Olympic goals, Carlos is a wrestler you're gonna wanna keep your eyes on. Thanks again for watching and please enjoy the interview. I'm Carlos Vargas and I'm, um, I'm 18 years old and I came from Mexico to wrestle in Extreme Couture. Okay, how did you uh, wind up at Extreme Couture? Well, um, I came here when I was 14 years old to Canada because mm -hmm. I, I used to live in Mexico and, um, and I used to train in some other place but then my dad, which is a coach too, and Coach Sanchez made, made a group here on Extreme Couture. What brought you guys to Canada? Was it wrestling or was it something else? What happened? It was just like um, Mexico is unfortunately a little bit insecure. Like here in Canada it's more safe uh, than Mexico. There's a lot of corruption in Mexico too. And uh, well, my dad wants to go out of it, right? And that's why we came here basically. We, we had a camp here. So that's why we came here for a camp, small camp, on December 2016. And when we came here, we went to that coach, and that coach talked about uh, Coach Sanchez, and that's why we came here, because they knew Spanish, we didn't know English, right? Yeah, so it just made it yeah. kind of easier transition there. Yeah. What's the, the biggest difference you've noticed in training uh, from when you were training in Mexico to training here? Oh, um, well, it's like really different styles. Like in Mexico, it's more, I, think, I feel it's, like it's more aggressive, and here in Canada, it's more Passive, a little bit, uh, it just stay in the pocket here, close always. And uh, but it's they in Canada they take it more seriously and they give more support for all the athletes. Your dad is one of your main coaches. Yeah. What type of influence has he been on you? How like no, how? all my life. Yeah. Even if when I was a kid, when if I didn't want to go to practice, I just have to go. Yeah. Right? It was just you have to go, right? So because he knew that in the future. This will be a like a big push for me to do something great in my life. Have you been here for about four years now so far? Yeah, almost five. Almost, almost five, five years. Almost yeah. Five so what are you what are you kind of working towards right now? What tournaments do you see kind of in your immediate future? Well, because COVID, everything stopped. But now I'm focused on trying to go to nationals. Uh, we have provincials coming now. There, everything is coming back to normal. Uh, what type of future goals do you have? Where do you see yourself in, you know, five, ten years? Uh, I'm trying to make it to Olympics. Like, that's okay. my goal, goal, goal. I have to win nationals first to get into nationals. So you have one more year left in high school. Yeah. I'm guessing you're getting ready to get into university. University. Into that. Yeah. What, uh, do you have any ideas what schools you're going to? Any yeah, I'm um, the coach for McMaster wants me to, to be on the, on the team. Yeah. The McMaster. The and, uh, so yeah, I wanna, I'm kind of excited to go. They have like a really good um, room for partners that can wrestle. Like this is, sport is like a huge grind. It's super tough on your body. You're still a young man. How many years have you been doing this? Uh, I started when I was five. When you were five? In so, Mexico, yeah. So how do you how do you keep yourself physically ready all the time? Well, in, uh, in the practice, we have like long warm-ups, like 20, 25 minutes warm-up. There's all just gymnastics. And uh, so we focus a lot in uh, moves and uh, car wheels, rolls, everything, all of that stuff. So we prepare ourselves uh, how to fall in case that someone does a double in the house, right? And then how about mentally? Like it's, it's tough to keep getting out here and keep, you know, coming into these practices it's, and going through the grinds. How do you I, stay on track? It's more like, um, like I have to be here for my dad, for my coach. Uh, for my family, right? Because we're new in Canada, and I'm trying to make it university, right? I'm gonna be the first one in my family, I guess, right? So it's kind of important to me, and and have to do it. I yeah, just have to do. It. Yeah. What uh, what type of advice do you have for other younger wrestlers to kind of like stay on the path and um, just get good at a really really hard sport? Is 
The way you wrestle in a practice is the way you're gonna wrestle in a tournament. If you wrestle, if you if you don't practice enough, if you're just lazy on practice, if you're not giving your 100% on practice, you would not be able to um, wrestle 100% on tournament, right? So it's always focus on practice, and you will do the same thing on tournaments for sure. Cool, man. Well, I appreciate your time, Carlos. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I don't want to hold you up too much longer, so good luck in the future. Good luck with all the tournaments. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll be watching you, so. Okay, thank you. Awesome. Thanks again, man. Appreciate it. Thanks again to Carlos and Team Extreme for having us. Thank you for watching the videos. Please take a second to like the video, comment, share, subscribe. We really appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.